back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, then I'm so happy to meet you. I need to show you Tilly before I even get into this video because it's potentially the cutest thing I've ever seen. Oh my God. She makes my heart melt. She looks like a little washed up seal. Oh, hello. Oh. Okay, and now she's about to attack me. That's not so cute, Till. This is not a video about my cat. It's a meal prep video. If you've seen Sunday's video, you would have seen that my healthy eating series is back, which I'm so happy and excited about. In Sunday's video, I did like a big food shopping haul, which will be everything you'll need for today's meal prep. So if you haven't already seen that one, I will link it in the description box below. Um, just so you've almost got like a little shopping list before I get into this meal prep. And if you want to do it as well, you can then see everything that you need. So I remember mentioning, do you know what, maybe like a year ago that I do meal prep if I want to like tone up, if I want to lose a bit of weight, if I want to just eat really really clean and stay on track i will prep my meals for the week many moons ago i mentioned this and you guys have been asking for a meal prep video ever since so i'm so happy to be finally filming it i have no idea why it's taken me so long probably because i haven't been eating very healthy recently do you know what i mean but now is the time it's currently summer and yes it's time it's time to get back on it Gemma. Meal prep is going to be absolutely perfect for you if you have a generally busy life and you don't have time to cook every night. If you find it really hard to stay on track because you're going to be prepping all your meals for the week so you don't really have to put that much effort in. I usually do it on a Sunday night and a Wednesday night. So Sunday I will do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesdays and then Wednesday night I will do Thursday, Friday and Saturdays and then Sunday is my more like chilled day. So I thought I'd just typically show you what I make and how I make it. So for each meal I'm I'm going to be doing two options so for breakfast two options lunch two options and dinner two options so the first thing you will need i need to go get out the cupboard i'm really bloody excited about it found them on amazon and i was like my prayers have been answered brb so the first thing you will need to do your meal prep is a shit ton of tupperware and tupperware is ridiculously expensive like you genuinely need to get out a mortgage to get out like a lot of tupperware so i went on the old amazon prime and I found some actual, there goes the lid. I found some actual meal prep little Tupperwares. You can use them in the microwave, they're reusable and they're like really solid, like they're not flimsy. And you get 20 of these for 12 quid, which I just thought, what an absolute bloody bargain. So yeah, I'll leave the link for these in the description box below because I think they're they're really handy. Even if you don't want to do meal prep, I think they're a really nice little lunch box. So I'm going to be using these for each meal in the video um, just because it's easier, especially if you like don't like your foods mixing like me. I'm a bit of a weirdo like that, like I don't like my foods touching. Um, it's just nice to be able to keep it in these. So yes. Yeah. The meals that I've chosen to show you guys today, I've tried to keep them really, really simple and easy, purely because I feel like meal prep is quite a bit of effort as it is, like you don't want to be spending hours in the kitchen. So I've picked like basic stuff that I find helps me lose weight. Um, so yeah, anyway, let's get straight into the video. I feel like I'm on Ready Steady Cook, Bake Off. Oh my God, fun fact about me. I actually applied for the Great British Bake Off last year and I got invited to the interviews and then I chickened out and didn't go. Fun fact. Okay, so starting with breakfast, I've chose two different breakfast options. One sweet option and one savoury option. And one carb option and one non-carb option. So you can kind of, you could, you could pick both and like rotate each day. Or you could just choose one and like have that for the first three days. And then maybe switch it up when you do meal prep again on Wednesday for the next few days. So for breakfast number one, which is the low carb option and the savoury option. I am going to be making... Two boiled eggs with a little bit of smoked salmon, some avocado, some little cherry tomatoes and some spinach. This is one of my favourite savoury breakfasts to have. I'm usually more of like a sweet kind of breakfast person. But if I'm going to have savoury breakfast, it will more than likely be like smoked eggs and salmon. Smoked eggs and salmon. Smoked salmon and eggs. If you aren't keen on fish, you could have like ham with this. You could have maybe some like thin turkey or something like that. But I love salmon, so I'm going to be having that. Um, so that is the savoury option. And then for the sweet option, which is like more of a carby option, I would usually have this if I'm going to the gym that day or I've got like a really... Every 
every time I talk, a huge ass lorry goes by. <laughs> I would go for the carby option if I'm either working out that day or I've got a really busy day or you know one of those mornings where you feel like you really need like some carbs, then this is perfect. Second option is porridge oats. So I've just picked up any old oats to be honest. Usually I will go for like gluten free oats just because I feel like I'm being like a little bit more healthy and sometimes my stomach is a bit weird with gluten. So these actually aren't gluten free because I forgot to buy oats and they were the only ones in the cupboard. But usually I'd get gluten free ones. Um, and then I will use a scoop of protein. This is the best protein I have ever used. I hate anything that tastes of protein. You know you get that like that certain taste. I cannot bloody stand that. Flavour strawberry banana milkshake and it literally does not taste like protein at all it's so nice and then on the side in the little compartment i'll have just a few frozen fruits just to whack it in the porridge and make it a little bit more exciting make it taste a little bit less like cement um and then these are going to be obviously overnight oats because i'm not going to be making oats every morning so instead of using milk i just use zero percent fat greek yogurt i'm going to show you how to make all of this anyway um but yeah that is breakfast two options Let's get cooking. Ready, steady, cook. Ah! I'm thinking you were made for me. It's in my birthday, yeah, cause I gotta say, you're looking like a gift for me. Wrapped up nice and neat, baby. Get in my way now, don't be shy. We'll be here dancing day and night. Okay, so here are both of the breakfast options. This is just a case of boiling some eggs and prepping the rest, like cutting the tomatoes and getting everything out and arranging it in the different little compartments. And then with the overnight oats, this is just 40 grams of plain oats and then it's three heat tablespoons of yogurt. And then I've just popped some frozen fruit in here. You can have pretty much anything in here. You could maybe have some nuts and seeds. Um, you could have some peanut butter. You could have pretty much anything that you like on your oats. Oh, and also this has a scoop of protein in as well just to give it a little bit of flavor and to give it some more protein so two options for lunch the first option is some people might think this is really weird but it's really really nice so don't knock it until you've tried it. also if i use any meat or fish that you don't like you can just change it you can switch it up if i use tuna and you don't like tuna just use a different meat substitute so you will need a can of tuna i always get it in brine or spring water if you get it in sunflower oil it pretty much like doubles the calories and the fat content is obviously a lot higher. So try and stick to tuna, which is either in brine or spring water. I am then gonna be using half a pack of whole grain rice with some cut up baby spinach, some avocado, and some Greek feta cheese. So with this pretty much, I will just kind of throw it all in a bowl, mix it, and it's really, really nice. It's really filling. So that's your more carby option, again, for like days you're gonna go to the gym and stuff like that. Now, the non-carb option, I'm gonna be making like a fruity chicken salad. We're using one chicken breast, which is in the fridge. Now, I have two ways I usually cook my chicken. If I'm cooking a big bulk of chicken, like four breasts at a time, I will chuck it in the oven with a little bit of peri-peri sauce or something like that, cover it over a tin foil and leave it in there for like an hour and a half. If I want something really, really quick, I've got a George Foreman grill. It was like 30 pounds from Argos and it was one of the best investments I've ever made. Um, it cooks chicken in about 15 minutes. You can cook halloumi on it. You can grill so much stuff on it. So yeah, if you want your meal prep to be like really, really easy, I would say grab a George Foreman grill, 30 quid, and it will save you so much time. So I'm gonna do a grilled chicken breast. And then with that, I'm gonna have some baby spinach, um spinach am i even spinach 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 i don't know this stuff um i'm gonna be cutting up some mango and then another one of my favorite things to use on salad are frozen pomegranate seeds i love pomegranate seeds but i can't stand like the whole process of like scooping them out the actual pomegranate because it goes everywhere so you can pick these up for like one pound fifty I usually chuck some of these frozen in the salad because it it helps keep it like really cold as well um so if you pop this in on the morning of taking your salad it will keep it cold all day and also when they start to defrost it creates almost like a little bit of a dressing so it's really nice 
Um, and then I got some little mini peppers, which I'm going to cut up, and some different coloured tomatoes. So that is lunch options. I'll see you properly for dinner briefing. Sometimes I say words and I just, I don't even know where they come from. I lose my breath whenever I see you. lunch options not gonna lie cannot wait to eat that this is one of my absolute favorites when the pomegranate seeds melt i can't even explain it it like makes a really nice dressing and it's just so nice i love sweet and savory together as well and if you ever have like a little compartment that you haven't filled i usually just put a little bit of like peri peri sauce or something in it just in case the salad is a little bit dry and then over here we have my little tuna kind of like mash up Oh my god, that sounds so unappealing. I don't actually mix the tuna in until I'm going to eat it just because I can find it goes a little bit like soggy. So I usually leave the tuna in the can. And then if you're going to work or you're going out for the day, just take it with you. But don't forget a tin opener. I've done that so many times. Um, so in here, we've just got the feta. I usually put the feta on its own because, again, I don't really like the mix because they kind of like... It makes everything taste of feta, if that makes sense. So I've got the cooked rice in here, some spinach... Um, some avocado tomatoes and then the feta on its own and then I'll just tip a whole can of tuna into here And I'll probably mix everything together when I'm actually going to eat it So for dinner again, I'm going to be making a carb option and a low carb option So the first dinner option is almost like a fake healthy Nando's This is one of my favorite dinners to have so one chicken breast again now my chicken I get from the butchers I go to ABC meats in Peterborough and I get one of the really big packs of chicken I think you you get so many chicken breasts in there and it's like i think it's 29 pounds but you get so many and then what i'll do is i'll divide them into little bags and pop them in the freezer so the morning of my meal prep i'll get like three or four chicken breasts out it's worth paying a little bit more money because literally the chicken is so much nicer like i i feel like i'm a chicken connoisseur now like i can tell if i'm eating supermarket chicken or butcher's chicken it also doesn't shrink like it's just it's so much better so the first dinner is going to be a little healthy nando's so i'm going to be doing nando's chicken i have found a dupe for this call me the sauce dupe um so the nando's peri peri marinade is actually quite expensive in supermarkets it's like two pound fifty I have been using this one in Lidl and it tastes the exact same and it's like a quarter of the price. So yeah, if you're looking to save yourself some money, grab this one from Lidl. What you should do is get the chicken breast out, pop some of this on and I'll just whack it in the George Foreman grill. Um, the George Foreman grill is also brilliant for getting rid of any like excess fat because it all kind of drips out into the little tray. I mean, it's grim, but at least you're not eating it. Um, so I'm going to be having that and then again some whole grain rice pop some like dried chilies and stuff on this So it tastes like spicy rice from Nando's and then I'm going to be making homemade macho peas God damn it. I love macho peas from Nando's um, Super easy to make frozen peas lemon Mint and chili flakes which are in the cupboard, but you'll see how I make that in a minute So yeah, that's dinner number one and then dinner number two is chicken again for dinners, I will either have salmon fillets or chicken. They're the only two meats I really eat. Like I said, if you're not keen on chicken or salmon, you could have like a little steak. You could have pretty much whatever you want. You could have some like chicken sausages. So yeah, we're going back to absolute basics. But this again is one of my favorite dinners. I find it easy. It fills me up. And it's literally just going to be a chicken breast. I'll probably use the poo poo marinade on that again. And then I'm just going to have a load of veg to fill me up. So I usually go for runner beans and tender stem broccoli. So that's my low carb option. I've got so many different recipes to show you. Like I can, I've got so many. So if you would like to see a part two of meal prep where I show you some more ideas, then yeah, just let me know. I'm more than happy to make that. But <sighs> Time to make dinner, I'm a busy bee today. Busy bee. Dream up a world of pirates. Climb the highest tree, fall down. Mama, I'm fine, don't worry. Go back out, you see. 
definitely not least, we have dinner. Dinner is my favorite meal, for sure. So here we have the healthy little homemade Nando's. Um, I just need to pop some chili flakes on here just to make it like spicy rice. You could add any seasoning to the rice. Like if you ever have a plain rice, just add some seasoning and it makes it a little bit, a little bit more exciting. Um, I've got the grilled chicken here, which I did in the George Foreman grill. I also added some spinach here just to kind of like bulk it up a little bit. You could also add some like veg. You could do some char grilled veg or some broccoli or some asparagus or something. And then I've got the minty lemon peas over here and I've just added a little slice of lemon to add to that when I eat that. And then over here we've got back to basics which is just chicken and veg. I understand this might be a little bit like boring to some people but I really, really enjoy this. This is also really nice with salmon but again, you could mix and match so many of these things. You could have a bit of rice in there. You could have some sweet potato if you wanted like more carbs. So I've added some snacks in that I would typically eat in a day just so you can kind of like see what I eat in a day, I guess. So if we're gonna go for like day one, I would usually have breakfast around 7 a.m. as soon as I wake up. Then if I get hungry like mid morning, I will either have a banana or an apple or some kind of fresh fruit. And then I'll usually have lunch around 1, 1 1.30. And then about three o'clock is when like my sugar cravings come and I really fancy something sweet. So you can get these little packs of really skinny rice cakes. I included these in my food shop haul um from Lidl and then what I'll do is I'll get two and I'll put a little bit of peanut butter in between the two and sandwich them together and oh my god it's so nice um so that'll be about 3 30 and then I'll usually have dinner about seven and then if I get hungry in the evenings usually about 9 p.m just before bed I really really crave something sweet I will have a protein shake um if I'm feeling Feeling like I want to push the boat out, oh, I'll have it with milk. Um, but usually I'll just have it with water or I'll make it into a smoothie. I'll actually show you how I make the smoothie in my next video because I feel like there's already quite a lot going on in this. So yeah, if you'd like to see how I make like a really nice protein smoothie then I'll include that in the next one. When I'm on a diet, I kind of like to stick to the same kind of foods, if that makes sense. It just helps me stay on track. It gets too confusing if I mix it up too much. So when you do your prep, if you're doing it for three days, obviously you should have three breakfasts, three lunches and three dinners and three lots of snacks. I hope that makes sense. We have reached the end of my weekly meal prep video. I really, really hope you guys have enjoyed it. I hope it's given you some ideas. I feel so happy and positive about this little series. I miss this. I feel like healthy eating is something I'm actually really, really good at. So yeah, I'm really excited to share with you some more ideas and stuff like that. Like I said, if there are any videos you wanna see from me, just pop them in the comments box below. Healthy eating series will probably be in a few weeks. I'm off to Santorini next week, which I'm so excited about. There's gonna be some more holiday vlogs. Um, I've also got like a holiday prep video coming where I'm gonna get all pampered and feel like a new woman. So yeah, loads of exciting videos coming, but as soon as I'm back from Santorini, best believe I'm gonna be back on a diet because I spend my life on diets and breathe. Yeah, really, really hope you enjoyed this video. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.